In this video, I'll be showing you what are the features of DocuWorks Desk. So DocuWorks Desk is actually a normal electronic desk. It helps you carry out your task easily. So you can actually um, have a folder set up as well from your DocuWorks Desk. Okay, so this is the user folder. You can actually search for any item if you are unable to look it up or you're um, busy and you need to search for a document quickly. You can also do a search from here. Um, this toolbar can actually um, be moved. Okay, I actually just compact them so it's much easier for me to, to see. Okay, so... And... Some of the other settings at the bottom is called um, task toolbar. So you can create this button. So we'll discuss that later on. Um, this is where you can also do OCR for your particular document. Okay. And this is DocuWorks Desk. Now, if you're wondering how about DocuWorks Viewer, DocuWorks Viewer is actually part of DocuWorks as well. However, it's much more towards to browsing and editing a particular DocuWorks document. So if you have a DocuWorks document available, just like what we have, I open it up. Um, it automatically going to open up the viewer for us. And in this viewer, I can actually edit this DocuWorks document. I can create a stamp to it okay I can highlight I can I can definitely edit this particular document and and save it as a new one okay or save it as as it is okay so that's the difference between the DocuWorks viewer and the desk so the desk is just your electronic desk where it compiles most of your DocuWorks document and once you wanted to edit those um, electronic documents, you use a DocuWorks viewer, okay? Okay, so in this DocuWorks viewer, this bar is called annotation toolbar, and this is the information viewer, so it will actually tell you um, the document, the binary index, the signature listing that it has for this particular document, okay? And the down at the bottom is your status status bar so you can actually change the display of the particular document that we currently have okay so um, you can explore more of this at your own face you can go to the help and to the DocuWorks guide if you need further information about the difference between the two. So I guess now we will go ahead and move on with the latest feature called Task Space. So let me close this one down. No. So if you can see, I'm actually inside user folder and user folder and a normal folder will have this normal light gray color. If I'm in a task space, it's actually dark gray color that is to signify that the task space is actually different from the rest of the folder within your DocuWorks desk. So why is it so? Um, task space is actually used or utilized for temporary placing electronic documents so that you can work with them while you're at the space where you wanted to work with them. So for example, you have a certain order that you need to make sure that you do it within the day. So you put it into this task space. So whatever you put here right now is the one that you're working on and the one that you need to complete. Okay, so that's the, that's the idea of the task space. So right now, the question would be, how can I put files in the task space? Well, you can actually just drag and drag, drag and drop a file and put it here in the task space. You can also, from example, go from one of the folders under sample document, this contract document, right? I wanted to put it in the task space. I can just go and put it to copy to task space and uh, I go there, it's actually here. 
So it creates a copy for me that I go ahead and edit and, you know, send it to someone else or whatnot. And it's actually going to be solely allocating my time, all right, and, and my focus on that particular document in my task area or in my task space area. Another option to create a file in the task space or to copy a file in the task space is by going to your DocuRx viewer, okay? And then from this DocuRx viewer, you go to file and you save and copy to task space. So what will happen is that, for example, you have a file save on your um, folder, okay, which is in the logistics. So for example, it will be in here and I open this file. Okay, I'm in the viewer right now and I go and click on save and copy to task space. Okay, so what will happen is that it will then create that file in the task space as well. Okay, so I whatever I edit from here, it saves it and then it also copies it into my task space. Right, so that's the second way on how to copy file into the task space. And the last one, which I think is really quite um, good, is it can go and copy files directly from your Explorer, right? So from the Windows Explorer, I have a file in the My Downloads. I can actually just go ahead and um, copy that into the task space. Okay, so if you can see that, Okay, got the three files. So that's normally how you can copy that into the task space and let you work on it depending on the task that you were given to. Okay, another thing that we need to remember when we're working on task space actually can locate where the original file is. So to do that, what we need to do is to highlight one of the file. Okay, um, and we can go ahead and right click, open original location. So from here, we would know or we can locate where is this particular file, the original location of this file. So if in case that we wanted to check for the readme file, we can open original location and it will automatically open Windows Explorer for you and show you that it's in the downloads. Okay, so it's easy for us to copy that file, work on it, all right, and save it. And then we can, you know, place a copy of it in in the same repository where it is. So for example, this is this is not a downloads file, but this is a shared folder. And you updated the readme file um, and you save it as 1.1.0.3 then the latest update will be pasted here once you finish with your task you can move that file from the docuworks desk right from the task space you can move it and place it back where the original location is All right so Another way to actually go here without clicking, without right clicking and open original location um, is by going and utilizing this button for task space. If you can see, you can just click this open original location and it will do the same thing. So again, if you are on the task space, um, you can work with these three buttons. So it will be easier for you to work within this particular desks. Okay, let me just minimize the view, remove the split. Okay, so right now um, we have three items, you know, cluttered in my task space. They are all done. I've saved them and I moved the edited copy into the right location so what will happen with the three files i am you know you can delete them if you like or you can actually clean up your task space okay with one button 
So that is this button. So what you need to do is to just go over and click it and it will tell you that I will be naming a folder in the task space location. You can just put it as maybe task today, right? For example, so it will be able to remember or you will be able to remember what are those tasks. So if I go back to task space, you can automatically see it's empty. Why? Because all of the files is now moved into this folder within the task space. So um, you can go back to the files that you worked on. Example, this is Monday. So tasks today is actually Monday and you can revert back to that particular day and look up that document that you manage. Okay, so it's much easier to actually work when you're using a task space right now because it lets you have a space where you can uh, put the documents in and at the same time you can also collaborate with the task space. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.